and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at taking spreadsheets of different formats and converting them to a plain text CSV file, which is a comma separated file, a comma separated value file uh, that we can then easily manipulate uh, with scripts. So in my directory here, I have two spreadsheets, one in an open document spreadsheet format and the other one in a Microsoft Excel format. And we're going to be using LibreOffice. So if I wanted to view these, I can say LibreOffice and I can give it one or both of those files. I'll just give it uh, the... Microsoft spreadsheet and there you go it's uh, an example uh, file that I've created for you guys uh, that has basically it's a list of people and addresses phone numbers and that sort of stuff um, just for testing out scripts I'll have a link to this in the description of the video as a CSV file uh, so here it is and let's say we want to convert that to a CSV file again it's gonna be a plain text file where each of the cells is separated by a comma or whatever character you want and the way you would do that in LibreOffice is go to File and Save As, and then you would choose what file format you want, in this case, Text CSV. And we will click Save, and we will, it will say, are you sure, because you're going to lose formatting. So if you had fonts and colors and other advanced things in this spreadsheet, you're going to lose those. You're just going to get the text, which is what we want. So we're going to use the Text CSV format. Now it's going to ask you, what do you want as a delimiter? Again, the default is a comma, but you can use any character you want. There's some suggestions here. You can use tabs, spaces. Um, I tend to use a pipe character because that's very uncommon in the text, but the most common is going to be a comma. And then the uh, string delimiter is going to be, uh, let's say you have a comma in one of your strings, it will put your strings in quotation marks so you know the difference between a comma that's separating a field and a comma in your text. Anyway, I'll click OK, and now that's saved. I can close this out. And I now have a file called people.csv, and I can cat that out, people.csv, and there's the list of names. And then I can, if I want, I can say grep, and I can grep uh, something like Jones from the list, and find everyone with the name Jones. Uh, if I want, then I can grep from that, and I'll say like Alice, and I'll have Alice. And then I can do something like cut dash D for delimiter is going to be a comma in this case. And if I want, I can go uh, dash F for field four here. And there we go, I got her street address. If I want, I can do dash F4, comma 5, comma 6, and I'll get her uh, address uh, with along with her um, city and zip. Uh, another thing you could do if you want to be a little more advanced about it, instead of using grep, you, if you have FCF Fuzzy Finder on your system, uh, I can say cat people.csv uh, and pipe that into FCF, and now, when I hit enter, it gives me the full list of names, and I can type something like uh, Johnson, and I want April Johnson. And now I hit enter, and it does the same thing, but it allows me to do that quick fuzzy finding search. Now you're going, Chris, that's, that's great that you showed us that, but I thought the title of the video says how to do it in the shell. Well, you're in luck. Let me go ahead and remove our people.csv file. And we just did that with LibreOffice by saving it as a CSV file. But as you can see now, I have those two file formats in here. You can actually use LibreOffice in headless mode. So I can say LibreOffice dash dash headless. And then I can say dash dash convert dash to. And I can give it the format I want to convert to, in this case CSV, and the name of one of our files here. So I'll give it uh, the open spreadsheet file this time. I'll hit enter. And now it just created our CSV file for that. So again, now we can do the same thing we were doing before, list it all out, or go back to what we typed out earlier with Fuzzy Finder here. And again, I can do like Smith. I want Mary Smith. There we go. And there I have her address. So again, it's LibreOffice dash dash headless for headless mode, and then dash dash convert dash to the format you want to convert to, which there are other formats, but we're working with CSV files here, and the name of the file you want to convert. Now, it's kind of a long command, so of course you can alias it if you wanted. You could do something like this. We can say alias, uh, I'll say 2csv equals that. Now, you put that inside your RC file for your shell, and you should be able to type in 2csv and give it a file. For, so let me uh, remove the file that we've generated. And now I can say 2csv, and I can give it uh, the Excel, uh, Excel file. And now I can cat out that people.csv file. So now you've taken the big long command that looks like this and changed it to this. So that's what aliases are for. I hope you found this useful. We're going to look at uh, more.
file conversions in the next coming upcoming videos. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Check out filmsbychris.com. That's Chris K. There should be a link in the description. You can search through my videos there. And also think about becoming a Patreon over at Patreon or a patron over at patreon.com forward slash mailx1000. There's a link to that in the description. And as always, I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.